Despite challenging for the 2020 championship, Yamaha's Franco Morbidelli has been having a wretched time in MotoGP ever since. The recently concluded test in Misano may have offered him some hope, as quoted by GP1. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, will 2023 Yamaha revive Franco Morbidelli's career? Franco started off by revealing all the advancements made by Yamaha for next year. The guys have done an incredible job, and we have to congratulate them, as the engine is a clear step forward. Everything you could possibly want has arrived. It is an important step forward both in terms of top speed and acceleration. He then confirmed that the 2023 bike is so good that returning to the 2022 bike in Aragon will be tough. Exactly. Some time will pass and this will make us forget the benefits of this engine. From here to Aragon we will have already reset. He finished the test in 12th, over half a second behind teammate Fabio Quattararo. Franco signed off by explaining why this wasn't his true pace and where he could have finished on the 2023 spec bike. We are riding hard and taking care of the details, which in the end make the difference. We are close to the top five, despite finishing far from the leaders, as I missed the flying lap. In the end, however, I'm happy. Fast feed. Suzuki's Alex Renz explained that there is a lot of falsehood surrounding suggestions that all MotoGP riders are very friendly these days. Many riders live in Andorra, but, for example, and yet I only met Joan Mir twice and he is my teammate. I don't have any bad feelings towards anyone. I try to be cordial, to get along with everyone. Honda's Mark Marquez stated that during the Masano test, sometimes I had to ride unnaturally because I lacked the strength in my arm. In doing so, you risk creating problems in other parts of the body. Before saying that I will be in Aragon, I want to be sure I can finish the race. Aprilia's Maverick Vinales confirmed that he tried a new frame and he felt much better. In theory it is for next year, but with Aprilia we want to win and we will use it already during this season. It will be interesting for Aragon to understand how it will work. I think we have taken a huge step forward. Suzuki team manager Livio Supo suggested that their exit is a sad situation, but he's really pleased with the way all the team have reacted. I think we have a great opportunity to leave all Suzuki fans with a good memory of Suzuki MotoGP. We still have 9 races, which is a long way, and we have good chances to make great results. And Mooney VR46 rider Marco Betsecchi didn't expect to be so fast in his rookie season. Will Franco Morbidelli get back to his winning ways in 2023? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.